I work a lot in corporate America. And one of the most common things I hear around workplace violence is, I have some really difficult employees. You know what my first question is? Do you actually have a difficult employee, or do you have an employee who's going through a difficult time? Because how you approach those two issues are very, very different. We sometimes forget to bring human kindness back into the workplace. We've become so politically correct that we're terrified of that. I spoke recently to a public utility, and we were talking about customer service. And you know, I said to them, you have an elderly woman who comes in to pay her bill. She comes in with cash. She's slow going. She gets to your counter and she wants to chat. Yes, you're already doing it. Rolling of the eyeballs. You're thinking, now the line's going to get long. I'm the only one servicing right now. The line's getting long. Other people are impatient. I've got to move quickly. I've got to help her. She's going to tell me the same old thing because she tells me the same thing every time she comes in every month. I said, how many of you know someone like that? And everybody in the audience put up their hand. I said, how many of you know their first name? Most hands went down. I think I maybe had two or three out of maybe 75 in the room. So two or three people had bothered to know their names. I said, here's the thing. You may think that they're a distraction, that they're slowing you down, they're causing a hassle, but you might be the only person that that elderly lady has spoken to all day, maybe even all week. Because, you see, she lives by herself, alone, in an apartment. Almost all of her friends have passed away. She doesn't have Avon knocking at her door or different people coming to visit. She is lonely. But today, she got on public transportation, took her 40 minutes to get here, and she pays in cash because in 1940, that's what they did. They paid in cash, and that makes her feel good. If you said, hey, Bonnie, how are you today, when she shows up, how's that kitty cat of yours? And you make her feel special, and you make her feel cared for. You have that short little conversation, and she walks out with a huge smile on her face, has her customer service experience been extraordinary or ordinary that day? You know it's been extraordinary. You've made a huge impact on another human being's life. And really, that's what we're here for. We can look at any situation and say, am I serving from my heart? Am I making somebody else feel good? Or am I caught up in the whole rat race that's happening in corporate America? Am I caught up in fear? In fear that if I don't get that line quickly, other people are going to complain about me. When we left that conference that particular day, a lot of people said to me, you know, can I give you a hug? And I said, sure can. I give them away for free. Especially with an older person. They may not have touched someone's hand. Someone may not have given them a hug or a kiss in weeks, months. Maybe their only living relatives live out of town. They only see them once a year or twice a year. We can be extraordinary, not even by having to give our time or do by donating money, but by the way we respond and react to those who are around us. We can bring kindness and, and humanness back into the workplace.